Hey guys! Tonight I am going to attempt a graphic eyeliner look. And I say attempt because things like graphic eyeliner, winged eyeliner, cut creases, they're typically very challenging for me and my hooded eye shape. And despite how long I've been trying to do these things, still trying to work out the perfect placement. So hopefully this video sees the light of day and isn't a complete cluster. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to start by priming my eyes with this e.l.f. HD lifting concealer that I've used a number of times. I film most of my videos at night because that's just the timing that works out for me, so I don't really need these eye looks to last. So why waste the primer? using Wet n Wild Brulee eyeshadow. Just setting that concealer in place and covering up a bit of the darkness. I'm gonna be using this NYX Gel Liner, NYX Gel Liner and Smudger with this little tiny brush. This is actually a brush I got from the craft store years ago, so it's not an actual makeup brush. So I'm going to keep my eyes looking straight forward and open and draw in the shape that I want so it looks how I want it to look when my eyes are open. So I'm actually going to start from my lower lash line and draw a line up like a winged liner just starting a little lower just like that. and just draw right above my, I mean my crease is here, but when I'm looking straight on that disappears. So just right above the little part of my eyelid that you can see and just connect that down. So you can kind of see the line when my eye is open, and that's my goal. There's a lot of space left to fill in. Oh, hooded eyes, so joyful. If I can do the same thing on the other eye, it's gonna be a miracle. Let's give this a shot. Just trying to match it to the other side. This is on the actual hood of my eye and kind of going halfway in. Looks a little different. The This side is a little thicker, so I'm gonna thicken this side up. I'm gonna take a very dense brush. This is a BH Cosmetics brush and just lightly smudge the front part because I want it to kind of fade. Just dragging this over that line towards the center of my face. Fill in this little outer chunk kind of until I get to the end of my eye, filling in that little space. I'm going to set and smudge it with just a matte black eyeshadow. This is my matte black from the Sonia Kashuk Eye on Neutral Matte Palette. Are you sick of seeing this thing yet? This is an e.l.f. contour brush. Just a little dense domed brush. So I'm going to set that and drag it inward. Trying to get a nice blend. I only did one side at a time so the first side wouldn't dry down too much and I couldn't blend it out at all. Right to the outer corner of my eye and then blend it out with the shadow again. A 
This is a little sample of Sugar Pill Goldilocks Loose Eyeshadow. Using a Wet n Wild Small Concealer Brush, I'm gonna put this, oh my goodness, look at that. I'm gonna put this on the inner half of my eye using the edge, the flat edge of this brush, meeting up with that black and just blending it over into the black. I hate when Sugar Pill sends these little samples with your orders because they're beautiful. It makes me want to buy them all. And bringing it over to cover about the inner half of my eye. This gold is so beautiful and I'm just using this completely dry too. I didn't use a sticky base, I didn't wet my brush or anything. I'm just gonna go back and forth between the black and the gold and try and mesh those two colors together. but I want this whole edge to be kind of clean and sharp. This side looks way better than this one. So I'm gonna put some eye makeup remover on this little tiny e.l.f. brush. This is an e.l.f. professional concealer brush. I'm gonna try and carefully go above this line to remove some of that smudginess that turned gray. gonna take some eye makeup remover on a little cotton pad and clean up this disastrous fallout. I'm gonna conceal my under eyes with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus found, not foundation, concealer in light ivory right under my eye and blend that in with the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Moving on to foundation, I'm going to use this Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in Ivory. Just dab it starting in the center of my face. This is an e.l.f. powder brush. I'm going to set my T-zone with this Bare Minerals Pressed Mineral Veil using the e.l.f. angled blush brush. I know I mentioned before, I'm trying not to go as crazy with the powder where I don't need it. You know, the less layers of makeup, the better it's gonna look. That concealer has started to crease a little bit, so I'm gonna pat out the excess and then set my under eye. Just gonna use the same Bare Minerals powder and the same brush, actually. Now we're gonna go back to finish the eyes. Going back with the gel liner and my same little liner brush, I'm just gonna do black under the entire lash line. This is a dramatic look, so let's just keep making it more dramatic. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that under my whole lower lash line, and then using this little Eco Tools brush with my matte black shadow, and just gently out smudge that. I'm gonna put that gel liner on my waterline too since it's right here. And kind of tight line with that in between my lower lashes. 
because you can see a little bit of skin through there. And using a clean e.l.f. blending eye brush to go beneath and make everything smooth. Moving on to eyebrows, I'm going to start with some Auburn Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really like to extend the tail of my eyebrows, but I've been having so much trouble doing it lately because on this side I've got a piercing scar and the tail, where I want my tail to be, goes right over it and I'm just having a hell of a time trying to get it to work. This is the Anastasia number 12 brow brush. Just gonna start with the tail. Extend that out a little bit. I feel like my right eyebrow is easier to do and so I start with that one and then I try to make the other one match it because my eyebrows are not they're not even on my face. My left one's a little lower. It's kind of feathering up with some of the remaining product. There's not much product left at all in here. Okay, time to tackle the left, which is always a huge pain in my ass. Okay. This is where it always goes south, right over this little scar. Ugh, that looks like garbage. Easy the devil. Okay, six hours later and I am back. <laughs> Full card mid-eyebrow and those files are so big it takes forever to transfer them onto the computer. So still working on this hideous eyebrow. Oh, it's so bad. I'm so awful at eyebrows. See, even this is not sticking. Using that little e.l.f. concealer brush and some Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in 0.75. Just like, I'm just getting worse at eyebrows the more I do them. Okay, that's just gonna have to do for now. I'm going to take a little bit of NYX tinted brow mascara in chocolate just to try and emphasize the texture of the hair. I'm going to use the Real Techniques blush brush and Wet n Wild Caramel Toffee contouring palette just lightly under my cheekbones. And that's all. Not really feeling like bronzing my whole face today. I'm going to use this flower blush in Warm Hibiscus. I normally stick with matte blush since shimmer and shine on my cheeks tends to exaggerate my larger pores, but this is so pretty that I'm going to use it anyways. And I like that it has a gold shift since there's gold in the eyes. And as usual, just blend that out with a clean brush. Even though that is a glowy blush, I'm going to put a little bit more highlighter on because why not? This is the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. And I'm going to use the gold shade with the Eco Tools Fan Brush. These are quite intense. Cupid's bow. And also blend that out with a clean brush. Really meld it into my skin. Oh, I forgot to do eyelashes. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. I 
I'm going to go back with that gold and put that on the inner corner. There's already some there. And this gold is just so beautiful, let's put it everywhere. I'm actually going to try and apply some false lashes. I think I've only worn false lashes in one of my videos, and I certainly haven't tried to apply them on camera, so I probably need a little prayer of good luck here. I'm going to use the Ardell Mega Volume 250 eyelashes, because they kind of wing out at the corners, which goes good with this giant winged look. And some Duo Lash Glue. Just wait for about four years for the glue to get tacky. Just using some tweezers. Place it in the center first. In the inner corner. And outer corner. Whoa, I think they're just on. I didn't utter a single obscenity. this black smudge go oh my god what is this what the hell was that okay almost done it's time for lips I don't know what it is but something about this color gold I find difficult to pair with a lip color I don't know why I don't know why that is I'm, I'm not very good at pairing eyes and lips though so I think I'm just gonna go for a super nude lip with the NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner. And then I'm gonna use Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit and Nudie Patootie. trying to blend this lip liner into this a little bit so it's not too totally washed out. Oh my god, has this thing been... Ugh. This mirror has been casting a shadow on my face the whole time. Charming. Sorry about that. Alright, and the look is finished! Let me zoom in so you can see the details a little better. We have come to the end. That was surprisingly not as painful as I thought it was going to be in terms of the eyes. It was the eyebrows that really did me in. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really enjoyed doing this one. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!